Okay, so this is a video that uh, maybe a German government can maybe even answer me questions uh, in respect to challenge uh, which one presented to me during MKUltra. I'm talking straight here about Angela Merkel. And in this case, this is just uh, to please help me out with this issue because all right it's it's the issue you have presented me during mk ultra uh, definitely presents for me an enormous challenge Trans women among Miss Germany finalists. Trans women among Miss Germany finalists. Uh, there was a lady with the name Teresa Bargen from Bargen from South Africa. You're talking about the lady definitely in her 80s now. I still hope so. She's doing well. Uh, and her name was a Teresa Bargain. But what definitely got my attention was this here, what you see. During MK Ultra, I was not, I already have stated that during MK Ultra, you are not capable unless you pay a very close attention to it. And also, of course, it depends on the degree amount of torture you go, you undergo. In my case, that torture went into unlimited. And what you see here, I'm going to go back here, is a trans woman among Miss Germany finalists for Miss Germany. This girl is now 19 years old so she's 19 well she was involved in this case since 2017 maybe even 2015 well if you go 2018 that's like eight years back in time and angela merkel who knows her parents from very up close She was involved in this stuff in 2015, I'm going to say like a 100%. Did some extremely with uh, German social engineers, psychiatrists and psychologists. Did some extreme, extreme profiling of my uh, perception. And it became obvious, maybe so, even more so, through this individual here. His name is Richard the Ramirez. In the dark at the hands of a man they called the Night Stalker. After a 14-month reign of terror, he was finally caught. It was only then that his true identity was discovered. His name, Richard Ramirez. It became evident through this individual who also was involved in MK Ultra, not outside of the jail, not outside of the prison, but the US government, Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigation had me regular visit this individual for whom I have actually indicated um, a sexual attraction. Okay, I'm just going to put it plain and simple. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a video which I am going to dedicate uh, to maybe a completely, I'm not going to say completely different me because this is, I believe this is a part of every human being. 
uh, then it only breaks down to arrogance and violence from there on. Uh, as for homosexual society, I don't really hold, I never ever held any kind of grudge against one. I had friends that were homosexuals. The first homosexual involved in this case was actually Epstein. I never ever indicated in my life a tendency uh, toward homosexuality. Um, Epstein did not pop up on the picture before Prince Andrew, just so you know how Epstein came on a picture. Epstein came on a picture through much bigger pimp. It was Prince Andrew. These are a harsh and brutal, that's a brutal, brutal reality here we're talking about. Personally, I never held any grudge against any homosexual. Um, I was hurt that Epstein did took advantage of me. They did have me in the circle. Um, but I don't know. All in all, it didn't leave me with... Uh, a medical problem that would have a... He did took advantage of me, okay? Um, however, it did not leave me with a problem that would be like the problems that were inflicted on me deliberately to destroy me over the course of the time is here in Slovenia. Uh, where SIA brought me from United States of America physicians thanks to American technology that became accessible, available to them, did with me. Um, as for myself, personally, the way I see things is, the way I see them and see them is, um, I, uh, I'm unsure about the German government, how the German government... Um, what German government wanted to make the point with um, this beautiful transaction, uh, transsexual involved in MK Ultra with this young girl, 19 years old, Bagren, uh, from from Bargen, Bagren. Um, I am not ashamed of myself. I don't shy away from being myself. Um. I had friends that were homosexuals because I treat absolutely everybody equally because they were more polite than... I got used to work as a security guard on Miami Beach and stuff because they were more polite than... Uh, oftentimes more polite than a lot of people. They were really polite people uh, because... Um, I felt I was not threatened with them. Um, I rather was sort of uh, felt good about myself. They gave me confidence uh, by indicating their maybe interest in me. So I would like to think. Um, because they didn't threaten me in absolutely any way. I didn't feel absolutely uh, any kind of disgust or anger against them. Uh, I didn't have no problem with it. Uh, I didn't put attention to it either. You know? Uh, I was just really, really laid-back guy who preferred to have not even wallet in his pocket. Just cash and drive a license and live my life basically in peace. That's all there is to it. Um, I don't know how I would respond in a work environment if I would have, uh, let's say, a person 
that would a male let's say that would be the same sex like i'm that that would be cautioning me if he would not be according to my uh i don't know idea or something like this probably that i would maybe change a work position or something like this if that's what it would come to uh, but i absolutely never ever had any kind of grudge any kind of anger any kind of uh, resentment against the homosexuals against people of same sex whatsoever it did not it didn't bother me absolutely it did not affect me absolutely in any way and uh there was a lot of gay people involved in this stuff uh they did some of them did stuff they really shouldn't but this was just universal and a lot of these gay people involved in mk ultra they actually sympathized with me on the side they did the stuff now what became like completely evident they did the stuff to i don't know to to um to satisfy certain idiots that were involved in this stuff because it's it's certain people that did this stuff they didn't do it uh to calm them down you know because of this hysteria they created around me during this mk ultra crap but i don't think that that there was a single gay that ever hated me i don't believe there was one gay involved in mk ultra that ever would hate me this guy here this was a very serious offender uh but during mk ultra it became evident that i don't mind which is uh, facial uh, characteristics particularly care for people uh, in a ring this is a hispanic person this guy was no he is dead already whatever happened to him to a person's first he was on a dead roll uh, i definitely would not <laughs> like to meet one in real life uh i cannot answer that at this time in real life i don't know uh but this individual in particularly was of even my sexual interest i indicated for one during the ultra simple as this we have another case here um his name is eric hernandez he was involved in mk ultra and i couldn't find one anywhere on the internet um this was another individual in whom he is a chief executive officer social good software he, he became um he opened his own company he launched his own company and is now self-employed i wish him all the best and maybe the only thing i would say rick is to change this signature here rick hernandez like that oh my god that doesn't fit you man that like looks like uh from a horror movie or something like that you're not gonna have i i should say you're gonna have more customers if you put something more uh just use a different letters all right that's just my suggestion uh this was a second person i can tell you the it professional who was involved in mkr for whom i have indicated uh sexual interest during mk ultra in real life i have never indicated a sexual interest uh for um for anybody um let me see something else if i can get that stuff done uh then in hollywood it was people like let me see um uh, let me get this video okay so then i found myself here at this place Happy with these two guys to you. this was released three Happy weeks ago so, uh, yeah 
Happy birthday to you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. Yeah. Um, what in the... Uh, claimed that I am not a hater. He claimed to... Everybody in Hollywood that I'm not a racist and that I'm not uh, against homosexual people. It's true. It's totally, totally true. He liked me. He was very friendly. Uh, it was very person to be very pleasant person to be around. I've never had any problem with him. Uh, these are just things and. I understand I indicated even moves on him, <laughs> something like this that it was. Um, it was stuff like this that happened in Hollywood. And before I get to the video, I just want you to know that I don't regret, I'm not ashamed of it. This is just a part of who and what I am. I'm not going to even go and say um, I don't care with anybody. Obviously, I don't. I, I started like this, so that I let you know who I am, what I am made out of it. But I find it extremely, extremely provocative. And that's why I dedicated this video. So I'm going to make this video uh, because I find it simply provocative not because of this beautiful trans uh, transsexual here that you see, girl. This is 19, my God. 2015, this little thing was just 11 years old. And it was literally German government that I have no idea how, but they proceeded to grow her in what you see here. And... Over the course of the years, beginning maybe sometimes in 2017, 2018, they literally had her flirt with me. And it was Angela Merkel who stated me, this one definitely is going to be yours. This one is definitely yours. This one will be yours. I was always into... A family, therefore a female that would give me children. I did not uh, pay enough attention to issues as you see here. Um, but this is not the kind of friendship that I shy away. I think this is a really, really, really beautiful transsexual transsexual. Uh, girl. So, if the German government somehow dug in on something that I would be, that I would shy away from, that I would, that I would be intimidated, that it would be something that would present a challenge to me, I'm just gonna say, take this video, okay? And I hope people will think about my words uh, because I don't like this kind of uh, tendencies within the society that are based on um, it's 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 a very very unacceptable really society for a normal human being. I'm just going to put it this way. Yeah, and when I say normal human being. Definitely, I'm completely indifferent from her. And yeah, that's, I'm going to ask you for help. As I said a little earlier about the German government, I'm going to ask for help. I'm going to ask you for help. Uh, specifically, Angela Merkel knows about my case. Because of what I mentioned long time ago. Mentioned already in 2000 and. Two thousand and nine, when I released a book, 
personal somewhat portions of it of personal biography uh, about how I was taken by father to a physician here in the city of the Novomest in Slovenia previously was Yugoslavia at age beginning as early as age nine to receive uh, big injections and those are the injections for which I stated would leave me semi-mentally retarded for up to one week and those are the injections that would destroy my vision completely eyesight this allowing me to follow uh, the writings of the teacher on um, on a dash on a table at a class I couldn't see the numbers anymore I needed to increase dioptry glasses uh, and well, the injections that I would receive at first on every two weeks then on once every month uh, that would totally start to not only retard my brain therefore I was started to fall behind the class children my schoolmates who have seen this boys and girls were in shock in disbelief in fear uh, those with best grades started to display signs of hysteria fear uh, even protested against this stuff and I was not a really the most popular kid uh, they were used to retard my growth you know I am six but when I was six years old uh, I sure was big just as children that were like eight and nine years old in another words I could just go not only I was big but I could if if it was necessary if I was attacked when I was a first class in grammar school and put down kid that was like yeah, almost 50% more than my age on the floor like it was a nothing like a toy and if it would be 10 kids and they couldn't handle me physically because this is how I was I was big and very very strong and I think that Slovenian system back then Yugoslav system came up with a solution to this problem by using injections but I don't think those are the injections that this uh, beautiful transsexual uh, girl got that's why I said that I would ask a German government for help but for as much as possible sincere help those injections were used to retard also physical growth I am six but without those injections I am pretty sure I would be six is like a hundred and eighty two centimeters eighty three centimeters without those injections I probably would be maybe even one nine five centimeters I would be definitely over one and ninety centimeters probably about one and ninety five maybe something like this and not is something that I would love to think it was a reality that became completely completely retarded when I was 10 years old I was just simply outgrowing other kids but at age 10 the difference uh, it was just uh, interesting was that as we grew up that I was just going the difference was not decreasing as usually the case is due to size growth but I was actually accelerating and the teachers went completely insane 
These are the teachers that at all costs wanted to put me inside the school for demented children. At all costs, at everything possible, these children, uh, teachers who incited the groups of children, up to 20 children, into daily beatings, physical confrontations, guaranteed me I will never complete grammar school. On board with these teachers were also my, present, uh, my parents. No, I was not a troublemaker. And this difference, physical difference in a growth was just getting more and more evident, me basically becoming like there was a kid who was three years maybe older than myself in the same class. Uh, I think they deliberately failed him twice so that he could become like sort of a chieftain for the children in the class. Uh, he became, not that he would present anything, he did not, but size-wise, uh, it, it, it became like totally non-evident, and this was like a tall, tall kid, tall, tall kid. And so they would bring me, yes, to the physicians inside of the city of the Novo Mesto, and they would start this really, really, really murderous procedure that greatly contributed to my grades. But more than anything, that labeled me tremendously in a physical development sense. So, German government, this is so nice that you brought this subject to me. I really, really appreciate it. It definitely is true that um, girl in Poland, Editka, claimed that I'm a girly man. Because, why? Because I like the colors like this, you know. I do. I like, I like this color. I don't mind. I don't say, well, you, tell me, why would I not like nice positive beautiful colors why would not i not uh, see myself simply in uh, maybe in in things that what is deemed by the society standards as uh, unacceptable not manly and so on uh, manly The society standards present exactly what I stated. There is nobody that can change those standards, the standards which I stated. You know. So it's just a matter of individual. It doesn't change anything about an individual uh, as long as it's not something that just exactly the same is with the opposite sex doesn't become like intuitive uh, and is taking a course against in other individuals will uh this is just a matter of preference i don't see absolutely any difference and that goes also to this uh marital issues between the two if you want to get married for me i mean for what i know there makes no difference to me never did there was some people like a mayor of chicago let's say a lady who was 100 percent certain that it was because of me that it was some kind of law against the gay people in the u.s had nothing to do with 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 not with MK Ultra reality, not with my reality. The truth is that they pumped me. Uh, that I started to see myself in something I never was part of it. But it was because of people who knew me very well and did not protest 
against the treatment which took place against me. And that includes also gay people, gay community. You know that I'm not, I don't have anything to do with this. So why, why didn't you stop this stuff? The same thing like with the Nazism. Everybody knew about my family, my issues, my views that I didn't want to have nothing to do in real life with this stuff. You knew about coming when you came here in this house that I didn't want to see myself in any kind of a Nazi hatred uh, issues. So why didn't you just, as a minority, um, rights um, advocates or human rights of any kinds that goes to United Nations, why don't you just protest against that kind of stuff? If you don't do this, it's enough that you observe the person that is involved against whom crime is taking place is going to start taking the opposite side because he feels being totally betrayed by you alone. And that's a totally nothing else to add to this stuff. So the German government stated for this girl here, involved in MK Ultra, absolutely. And I really thank for this news. Uh, Angela Merkel stated, this is you. She also stated, this is you. And it's this beautiful article here. It's 19 years old. Yeah, ha, uh, Frederick's in lower Saxony and so on. Who would have thought that she's 19 years old? But I told you there were children as young as even four years old. Four years. Four. You understand four? Let me let me demonstrate you with the fingers. Four years old in this MK Ultra case. A child from the Polish psychologist Justyna Kanderska was, let's say, Polish psychologist, four years old when she got involved in this stuff. Four years old. They started to teach their children what MKOTRI is. I think smart move at a very, very young age. Because it's the, such a world today that really, when you have children going even inside of the kindergarten, isn't it true? You don't know really what's going on with them if you're not around them. It's the kind of world we're in. When you consider those injections that I received, I talked about when I was just 9, 10 years old, that was really, really, really a horror. It's, it's a world uh, that the scariest thing about me is not the stuff that was in the past, but here I'm going to stop. I absolutely hope that this girl is going to be happy in her life. I think she definitely deserves to be a Miss Germany. Because for me personally, this is like really, really, really beautiful. What is it? Transsexual? Whatever it is, it's very, very beautiful. Um, I'm going to put it this way. At age 11, started taking puberty blockers followed by feminizing hormone therapy two years later. This is also when she came out at school, which made life easier for her and started feeling more accepted. When von Bergen was of age, she underwent gender surgery. Saskia is her chosen name. Winning a beauty pageant and so on. I don't know. Continue reading. Uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is go F in Japanese. Okay. There is no such thing like injections because you know why? Because I, I was like, when I started to watch this news, as I recognized her, I wanted to learn more about it. I was unsure. I was unfamiliar with this expression here. Let me demonstrate this. Being supported on a
puberty blockers. This stuff here, I, I, I wasn't really, I wasn't sure that I understand what, what, what is this now. I was like in total, total disbelief. Puberty blockers. Puberty blockers. Okay. So, when you go with this stuff here, and they talk about injections and stuff. Injection. You talk about injections, about this puberty blockers. This is about injections that you get injections. Um, and I do like to do something else here in this case, which again we're gonna do it like this. I have to be very very uh, precise about using these articles because I came across the article which really suggested like injections that that you get uh, in, in um what is this here in um da -da 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 -da. we're gonna go with this one here Um, this here really got my attention here. The medication is simply given as injections, either monthly or every three months. Okay, so it became evident that this here is not what I was given. I think it's completely evident that this thing here is exactly not what I was given. It is another thing I have to share with you. Yes, uh, I don't have uh, a large penis. I know this is a topic for a lot of guys, um, uh, a lot of people. Maybe you, some people are going to say this is a very, very inappropriate topic to share. Oh, Bobby, Sebastian, Bustian, this is not the topic you want to share. Well, I, you know, I am comfortable with it. And I have chosen, will share one uh, online. Why not? Uh, it really doesn't matter. It rather should probably... which is completely acceptable for me, damage my image within the society, whatever, certain portion, whatever the case might be, I don't know. Uh, but this is basically how I go by, realistic. But still, I don't think really that that type of uh, puberty blockers uh, were used. A puberty blockers, I think it would really, really fuck uh, everything. Because if, 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 um, my God, puberty blockers would even probably make me what bigger then, because, because if, 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 if he would, if he would block me from puberty, puberty is basically when you terminate your growth I would be more than two meters tall in that case maybe I would have breast um, but sorry I don't think it would accomplish 
precisely what Angela Merkel insisted was done to me. No, sir. They had some other stuff. And um, I don't think that puberty blockers will make your vision blur for two weeks at least. Uh, so that you cannot see, follow clearly, and that you are, that you feel that you're like semi-retarded. Uh, according to what was promised, I'm going to end up on a school for a special education for uh, children with uh, mental development disability, basically. Which... If I would have one, I also would not shy away. I wouldn't be ashamed in absolutely any way. I am just realistic. So if you if you gonna reach or when you gonna reach your puberty in 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 a Germany, I think, uh, and. You will get to the level as high as I demonstrated today. Uh, and you can please get a hold of me so we can talk closer about this case. But until then, I am just gonna see, I'm just gonna say, saw nothing, heard nothing, know nothing. This was recorded on March 4, 2023. I use that instead of goodbye, and thanks for watching. 2023, till next time.